Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine And today, right here, we have finally the Dragon Momoko Death Scythe Hell TV version So, yeah, I just got it just now uh, because my supplier had a little bit of problem So that's why I got so much later compared to everyone But yeah, nonetheless, I still got it So, yeah, here it is, the Death Scythe Hell it, re it makes me really hard to actually say so I might just make it short form in this video like um, DC, DC, DC hell so yeah anyway now let's proceed on to the video so as always the front here we have the front of the Dragon Boboko and then here just want to show you guys some English wording as there's always been there for the Dragon Boboko kids and surprisingly enough this box it's actually quite small compared to other regular releases of the Dragon Ball Moko kits. So yeah, none, and compared to this, they actually did very little promotion about this. They just released a picture of um, like the Prime version like that. But yeah, nonetheless, we take a look once open inside what it comes with. And surprisingly enough, um, this box this time around it doesn't have the usually normal Dragon Momoko we have the pull out mechanism, but this time around it's just like a regular box, um, Bandai box sort of like pull up instead of sliding out. So yeah, um, here we just look at the side of the box. You see the box art, and then here there are some English wording here about the kit, the actual kit maybe, and uh, yeah. Um, the what I was trying to say is that the sticker this time around it actually looks the kit so much better. So yeah, I I'm considering putting on the decals this time around. So yep, I think yeah, let's just try that since I never do that to any of my kids. Anyway, now proceed to the next part. Here is the other side of the the box art. Here is the completed product, which it looks kind of cool when the wings is all open up. So yep around here so yep the first part here is the manner which we will always take a look last then now here we have all the runners let me remove all the plastics and then i'll come back to you guys later on so yep now all the plastic i remove we'll now proceed on to take a look at the very first runner here i'm still delaying and by the way, this is a post commentary because the original audio that I recorded, it kind of sucks. So yeah, I, I just gonna redo it is in this like post commentary. So I might forget a, a thing or two, and might have a awkward silent time and time again. But yeah, here to show you guys. Here firstly is the shield, should be the shield, the inner frame of the shield. And then here, if I'm not mistaken, this I was mentioning is it is on the shoulder. So actually, it, there is a lot of detail in this kit, I must say. So yeah, but it's black, so it is harder to see. But like, um, I have a light shining above, so it should be easier for you guys to take a look at the details of the kit. And then there you have another, I don't think that should be the shirt. I think that should be the shoulder armor part, the large piece that I want to sh show you guys just now. And yeah, the part that I was putting in was a part came out. So I better remember that part as well. And then here there are some other parts. This this curve a little bit. It should be the I think this time around it should be the wings. Because I can't think of any other part with a curvy part like that. So yep, and then next here is the grey part. This is definitely the inner frame. And by the way, I've actually um look at other reviews not many any took a look at one it's a china reviewer that guy is really really good i'll leave a link down below in my description you guys can check him up you guys can check him out if you want to and yeah he's really quick he's always get like the moment dragon momoko releases he will definitely review first hand so yeah you guys can check him out and just now i was showing you guys was the hand part um the china reviewer said that it's from dragon momoko uh, the Dragon Ball Code Destiny Battle Build version hand but um, when I look, take a look at this it's slightly smaller so yeah not sure how it goes and then here surprisingly they are very actually small piece of polycaps 
when usually Dragon Momoko you have lots of polycaps and then here to show you guys the yellow part here here I was saying the ribcage looks very very cool it looks more like a spider than a ribcage so yeah I can't wait to build that part because you can see the inner, the inner side of it when it's covered sort of like I think if I were to paint it silver it will look better with my marker pen and then here the red piece here that's really nothing much to show you guys just maybe the wing part there the red color and then here we have another gray part this is the inner frame of the leg and yeah let's let's hope that they fix the leg connector because every Dragon Momoku, every Dragon Momoku kids I have problem with the connector the leg connector and then here you can see the death scythe the the scythe handle it looks kind of cool here I actually just wanted to show you guys the there is a bit of design there at the handle there I was like struggling to focus like you can see me keep on pressing to focus it but yeah hopefully this is um, clear for you guys to see and then that's yeah th that should be the inner frame for the sh for the wings and then another gray piece here this should be the shield I'm not sure I keep on mentioning shield because like everything of it <laughs> looks exactly like a shield to me but yeah there's I was mentioning there's two piece okay I don't think that would be the shield because you only have one shield so yep there's either frame or something else and then here should be the tie the leg the leg of the Jerobo we'll called the tie part there the inner frame again and then here um this should be the skirt armor and then there I was saying the neck yeah the neck have problem for me for the Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom so yep not sure how it will go for this and then what I was trying to show you guys next um uh, not sure okay yeah here is the effect part for the for the scythe as I was trying to say is that this is actually a clear piece it's not like a it's not like how, how, how do I want to put it it's not like a plastic it's not like a plastic piece like a straight green but this is a transparent sort of green so you can totally see through not a piece of green like that it, I, I, I hope you get why I'm trying to show you tell you guys but yeah here is just the sticker then here is just a huge reflective parts mostly are in the gray color gray silver ish but yeah it's really reflective and small so yep and then over here I have the uh, what do I call this the water decal uh, keep, keep on messing with my words so yeah here I say I want to put in and yeah I think I will do that so now that's it for the stickers we'll finally move on to the manual of the kit so yeah here it is so as always the first page you have the design of it as you guys can see the manual it kind of shows like it's just like a um, green piece but don't worry it is not a green piece it is a transparent green color piece just like the normal death scythe that you get from Bandai so yeah nothing to worry about and then you can see the scythe there's actually two effect part for you so that's kind of cool and then you can see here the you can pluck out the wings actually to be frank with you I I did not know about this TV version for the death scythe mine was the the other death scythe the work sort of like the work car design but yeah anyway here here I was counting the parts I've gotten how many parts was, was it but yeah you guys can see the number of times I was pointing at it then it should be that and then following on why was I staggering over here I think maybe I was saying that there's actually very little parts considering that there are actually there are, there are, you might count that there are a lot of parts but then they actually lots of small parts so if you put them all the small part into one big part it's actually very very little and then so yeah here I was just like strolling around saying oh here is the leg part here's the hand part and then here's the weapon part so yeah again here the most exciting part for me I think would be fixing the backpack again I hope that backpack wouldn't give me much problem and then yep and then here I think it's finishing yeah it's finishing and then the final part there you have is the decal page 
And then at the back here, you guys can see again the completed product, which again looks amazing. Jerome Momoko always have, it's like, they have the best um, design for their kids, showing off what their kids are capable of. But if you've built more Jerome Momoko kids, I think you would know what are their actual building process compared to their looks. I mean, after that struggle, then you see how good it looks like, then I guess it's worth it, I guess. But then, yeah, that's it for the unboxing for this time around. I know it's a bit weird because maybe like it doesn't sync with what I'm trying to convey in the video because like I say, this is a uh, post commentary. But nonetheless, I still hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing video. If you guys do enjoy, please drop a like down below and subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed to because there will be more figure or model kits review coming real soon so yeah i'll see you guys soon